Alrighty fanboys and fangirls, on today's episode of Technoid, for all you HomePod fans that were hoping for a bigger and better HomePod, it looks like you're going to be stuck waiting, because according to Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple is reportedly working on a new version of the HomePod, but just don't expect anything breathtaking. And I'm here to tell you guys that Apple is slacking and they better start to expand the lineup because they do have the market share, now it's time to capitalize. Also on today's episode, we got some new reports from Ross Young saying that Apple is making another display and apparently it's mini LEDs now, what is going on? Let's take a look at the rumors. And lastly, we have an update on the AirPod Pro 2s that is reported to not only have the lossless codec that we were talking about, but also a price hike. I'll explain all about that in today's episode. So don't go anywhere, change the quality to 4K because Technoid starts right now. Now the first story, the main story of the day is the HomePod. Now if any of you guys don't know anything about me, then you'll know that I am one of the few OG HomePod users. I still have my original HomePods that Apple made in 2018 and I've been using them ever since. They've held up very well. They're about to be four years old next year and they have held up exceptionally well. Sound quality is great. The features have gotten a lot better. Apple TV support, etc. And Apple made that speaker a lot better with software support and it's just a shame that they discontinued it. But along the way they did make a new model known as the HomePod Mini and it came in at a cheaper price point and it is selling like hotcakes. Everybody bought it. It's a huge success. It's gotten Apple's home accessory kit into the market field. Well, there are still a lot of people that say while the HomePod Mini is a great speaker and it's a very affordable speaker, it still doesn't solve their ever non-growing version of the HomePod lineup. We have seen Apple continue to focus on their home kit and home devices, but the HomePods have now positioned them to where they could finally get some market share and grab more customers. Well, it looks like they will be making a new HomePod, just don't expect anything significant. According to Ming-Chi Kuo, he goes on Twitter and reports that Apple is working on a new HomePod that is scheduled to launch at the end of this year or in the beginning of next year. However, any advancement in hardware is not to be expected. It has just seemed to be maybe a mild upgrade of the HomePod Mini or it is a new version using the same system but just with more emphasis on a cheaper price point. We don't know exactly, but the main takeaway is that they are not going to be making a premium version. They're not going to do that. Now, on the one hand, this is a good thing because it seems to get more customers to get a cheaper speaker and you get more people into your smart home enabled world. And it grabs, once I said again, market share because their market share literally doubled from the launch of the HomePod Mini. So the HomePod Mini is a great selling product for Apple. However, though, with that being said, the lack of innovation and the lack of expansion in their lineup is severely hurting them. And this is really evident as more and more users are now finally starting to understand lossless audio, spatial audio, Dolby Atmos, and there have been a huge significant demand for a more premium version of the HomePods. Now we have heard that they are working on a smart kind of screen HomePod hybrid that kind of links in with Apple TV. We, we've heard these reports, but they haven't gone anywhere, they're still in early development, but one of the biggest things that everybody is clamoring for is a new HomePod that's higher quality, supports Dolby Atmos natively, not enhanced because of software, is built to support Dolby Atmos, and of course, the biggest thing is the lossless support. Now, I will say that as an original HomePod user, I have no desire to pick up HomePod minis. While they are a great speaker and I have reviewed it, I just don't like the quality from them. They are small enough to put anywhere in your house and they do the job well. I'm all about the quality. And I really thought that the original HomePods, granted they were at a high price point, they did a great job, for me anyway, in terms of the quality. But the biggest thing that Apple should be focusing while they're doing this is continuing to advance Siri with the smart speaker assistance. Because Cole goes on to say that they're still not even sure how to position themselves in this market. Well, here's the first thing you can do. Start expanding the lineup, start hitting those different areas. The HomePod Mini is for everyone. 
make a HomePod version 2 with one down firing woofer and four tweeters. Say that that's for the higher end users. Then make a bigger version like Amazon did. Basically, the, the, the grasp of what I'm trying to say is make it within the price range that consumers can afford, but make certain models that hit each demographic and that you know are going to grow and expand. Don't obviously just do what you did before with the original HomePod. Focus on the smart home, but don't let the hardware take a backseat because there are people that still do like that. And one of them being myself, it would be great to see them make a version of the HomePod and not waste the great technology they had in the original. Alrighty, story number two, keeping up with the momentum of Apple, there is a report going around that Apple is again working on a new display. Uh, what? What? Okay, according to Cro uh, Ross Young, he claims that Apple is in the process of moving productions of the display to a different supplier and location. And as a result, they are now planning to release a new 27 inch display with mini LED technologies. However, though, this display was again, as you know, delayed and instead we've got now the studio display, which I am not sure how this fits in. But according to Ross, he does say that this variant could be the Display Pro. But it's unclear if Apple is even going to make this or even release it, or at the very minimum, if this is even going to be in the lineup. But Ross Young does have some credibility to his name. So it's not like for him to just randomly make a rumor that's not true. If you know anything about Ross Young, he is one of the CEO of the Display Supply Chain Consultants. So he knows exactly what's going on. And he claims that it is on track to be released in October, it will feature ProMotion and 120 hertz and will probably be reported at around a 16 to 17.99 price point. Now that would again course send it, it wouldn't make much sense because the studio display is 15.99. So how this fits in, I don't know. But I just wanted to put that in there because for any of you that were disappointed by the studio display, maybe Apple kind of makes it up. I don't know. <laughs> Let me hear your thoughts on this one. Alrighty, last up is the AirPod Pro 2. Now, as you know, I have been covering the AirPod Pro 2s and we're almost here, guys. We're in the final hoorah of the rumors and everything is starting to fall into place. And we have now got confirmation that yes, it is going to get a redesign. It is going to support Apple lossless codec, but now we're hearing reports that it will also ship with USB type C. The report is saying that if this product ships with USB-C, it will be the first transition into Apple finally embracing USB-C and will then solidify the iPhone 15 rumors of them going USB-C. Now before you start getting your excitement, just don't forget that these cases come with MagSafe. So if Apple doesn't put USB-C or Lightning, they're just gonna stick with Qi charging and go MagSafe on that. But now the last thing to be reported is the price hike. Apparently there are reports saying that because of the new design, because of the new technology, et cetera, they are expected to have a price hike. Now they're not expecting it to be a super dramatic hike. They're expecting around 279, maybe even 299, which I mean is kind of expensive. There's, there's no going around the bush, but if the quality can make up for it in the audio department, if you are getting a better certain amount of features from the original AirPod Pros, then I mean there might be an argument to be made, but after we've seen the huge advancements in the truly wireless earbud industry, it's a tough pill to sell. So we'll have to wait and see exactly how Apple does that. But that's the latest update on the AirPod Pro 2s. I will be keeping my eye on it and updating you guys as we go along. And that's it for today's episode of Technoid. Now guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button. If you disliked the video, you can hit the dislike button. That helps circulate my videos as well. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care, stay safe, have a good day, and peace.